everybody. So I just got out of um, the orthopedic and I wanted to share with you what he said. So he said, he don't understand why I still am having um, pins and needles in my toes and why I'm having so much pain in my foot. He said, um, once again, nothing he could do. Um, I should have known that because I stopped going to him because there's nothing he could do. Um, I said, I'm just really frustrated because I can't get any answers. You know how frustrating it is when you can't get an answer to what's wrong with your foot? Very frustrating. Um, so I asked him, I said, well, I'm, you know, I want to see a podiatrist. He says, well, you know, they're, they, they're, they're, they don't have the expertise that we do. He says they only go to school or college for four years versus us going to 10 years. And I said, I get that. I get that. But I said, you can see where I'm at with this. I said, I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated that my foot has gotten worse and it hasn't gotten better. It's gotten worse. Not, not better. And, um, he just says, I think you need to treat it like a normal foot. Be on your foot all day. Be on your feet all day. And I'm like, well, <laughs> that's very painful. It's so easy for him to say just to be on my feet all day when it hurts to be on my feet all day. Um, and I asked him, I said, how about can I get a knee scooter? He says, nope. He says, just, oh, I missed my turn because I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> I'm not used to, I'm going to Savannah Neurology to pick up my work restriction for my work because they need a, a new restriction. Um, so I'm going to go pick that up. Oh, there's a cop, so I can't be on my phone because in the state of Georgia, we can't be on our phone. Otherwise, we get fined for that. So I'm not trying to break the law, everybody. I'm really not. Um, and I'm still a very safe driver, so that's why I'm not looking at the camera. Uh, anyways, I was just very frustrated with him, and I said that they want me to do a nerve test, an EMG. And he said, yes, definitely get the EMG because that's going to answer all your questions. Because uh, what I don't understand is um, the neurologist, Dr. Donahue, had said that he don't think I have nerve damage. Okay, what does that mean for me? If I don't have nerve damage, then why is my, why do I have pins and needles in my feet, my foot? And why do I have the pain I have in my foot? So if I have nerve damage, that means they're no, no longer going to be able to treat me. So... I'm going to have to live with what's wrong with my foot, you know? And like I said, this is about, we all have to embrace all our struggles, all our pain, whatever is going on with us. We have to accept that. If, if this is what's going to be in my life, is that my foot is going to hurt, then I guess it's going to have to hurt. Um, I'm going to just have to trust in the Lord. I'm going to have to pray that he will heal my foot and restore it new. And maybe he don't want to. You know, maybe he's trying to show me something else. Trust. Faith. Um, I'm coming here to Savannah Neurology. I'm almost here. I'm going to park. Okay, so now I'm parked. So now I'm safe to continue talking um, so I'm going to do the EMG and see what it says. Um, and I'm going to have to go from there. Um, I ask that you guys pray for me and that you, um, continue praying for my sister Starry. I really appreciate everything that you all are doing for my sister. It's so overwhelming. I can't even find the words to say how great you all are. There's thousands and thousands of people that love my sister and they send her gifts and I'm just so amazed. I'm like, wow, this is so amazing that people love you so much like this. This is wonderful. And trust me, she loves it and she is so appreciative and she gets gifts and she cries and she's like, look at this, look at all the stuff that I get. I'm like, that's really nice. That's very, very nice. And that's very uplifting. You know, people need that in their life. They need to be uplifted. Uh, we all just need to be with one another and uplift and continue to pray for everyone. We need to do God's work is what we need to do. And if my 
path with my foot is for it to be the way it is I have to accept that and embrace it like I said so I thank you guys all and like I said I'm just just very frustrated with my foot you know being on my feet at work all day is really hard to be on it because the pain the pain is so overwhelming and I can't take pain medication I can't tolerate it it makes me really sick but it's to the point where I need to do something for the pain and you know Dr. Um, Prather said that the orthopedic he says the best thing to do is stay on it stay on it keep on it stay on it treat it like a foot it's kind of hard when my accident happened back in uh, March 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 it happened and it hasn't gotten better and I've been on my I've been on my feet for 10 hours or more I'm usually on my feet for 15 hours I work seven seven days a week so I work a lot and I'm on my feet on concrete floors so to tell me to be on my feet all day and it's gonna help it it's not because my foot has gotten worse being on my feet uh, oh, so please please pray for me to have strength and understanding because I need that too you know I'm I trust God but there's certain things that I need help with in my prayers too as well just like we all do so uh, thank you guys I'm gonna run in get my um, my work restriction and I'm gonna go back home let my dogs out and then I'm gonna get ready for my work because I close tonight and once again thank you guys I love you all and like I said if you guys need prayers let me know okay the only, I, I can't help you um, if you guys don't let me know if you guys need prayers because that's what we all are here we're all brothers and sisters in Christ all right, thank you guys, and I love you, and I hope you guys all have a blessed day. Bye.